Aircraft radome integrity is critical to the performance of today's sophisticated radar transmissions. Moisture that collects in the honeycomb cells cause damage that degrades radar operation. The AADAF is proven reliable. This simple handheld radome moisture meter is used by aircraft maintenance facilities to detect this moisture. Meter unit assembly consists of a toggle switch for power right here and it has a zero adjust knob on this side. It includes a analog dial that's color coded with four different ranges. Those ranges include good, fair, poor, and unacceptable. Unacceptable being the largest of the range, good being the smallest of the range, or dry. On the back side of the meter is a red standard plate which is used for internal calibration, which we will discuss shortly once we start talking about calibrations of the meter. The electrode is a spring-loaded electrode. These buttons push in. It's very important that they stay rounded. It's connected via this six-pin D-sub connector cable. This cable does have polarity on it. There is a key. Make sure that when you're plugging it into the meter that it's going in the right direction. To operate the AADF, you take the electrode and you take it off the surface, turn the power on, and if the meter dial uh, moves away from zero, you want to hit the adjust to zero the meter, and as soon as you touch the, the buttons with your fingers, you'll see that the meter itself starts moving. It's an instantaneous measurement. We don't uh, have a radome at this, in this video to take measurements, and we're going to be utilizing this table that we have. What you want to do with an AADF uh, to take measurement is you want to do a random checks on a radome to check for wet spots. So we'll take a measurement here, and then you want to move over and take a measurement here. Notice I'm lifting up and I'm moving from point to point. We do not, I repeat, we do not want to drag the electrode from side to side. I know it's uh, easy to do so, uh, but it's not designed for that. If these buttons get flat in any way, um, it requires service and your readings will be out of whack and there's no way that you could possibly um, measure a proper measurement on radomes. So we need to make sure that we do a lifting from point to point on random sections of radome. So since this table is completely dry, well not completely dry, but dry enough, you'll notice that the dial is moving, uh, the needle on the dial is moving almost to the center, which I believe is unacceptable or in poor range. If um, a complete dry, um, a, a complete passable radome would be good, it would be all the way to the left. But since this table is not a radome, it's just a dry piece of wood, it's measuring uh, unacceptable or poor. The charger that comes with the AADF meter unit is uh, can be used for 115 or 220 volt. It is one wall charger that's universal. There is a plug that's on the back for the wall charger, so that would plug in directly here in the meter unit. If it's a 115 uh, charger, which would be used for North America, South America, or Japan, we have the US adapter plug here and that just goes and slides right on the top. For a 220 volt, for Australia, Europe, and most of Asia, we have the 220 adapter that that just slides right on top of the charger. Same charger, just depends on the order. We need to know that before you place it so we can give you the right adapter for that. Let's move on to calibrations now. Uh, Finner Group uh, recommends a one year calibration on all meters. So when that happens, you send the meter in and we would do a full uh, cleaning and recalibration, charge batteries, make sure the batteries are, are working fine, make sure they're not old because rechargeable batteries only last about, maybe last about five to seven years. They do run out. But we would uh, make sure that the buttons are not flat and then we would run through a series of four standard blocks that we have here in house. Our service also uh, gives you a calibration certificate, which you can use for auditing purposes for an ISO agency or any other agency that's, that may be performing an audit for you. The uh, other calibrations that we have are that you can provide yourselves on site are two uh, partial calibrations, one of them being the red cookie internal standard calibration that I talked about earlier. 
the other one being off the calibration check that you can purchase separately and I'll discuss that shortly. To do the calibration check on the back side of the instrument, you want to go ahead and make sure the electrode is away from any surface. Reset power if it's already on. If not, turn on power. Reset the adjust knob here to re-zero the meter. On the dial at number 20 is an arrow and that's showing the range for the internal standard. The buttons will plug directly into the back of the cookie or plate. When you take a measurement, you'll notice that the meter dial is moving up towards that arrow and it's going up towards 19. So we have 20 plus or minus one for your internal standard. In other words, 19 to 21. This one's reading 19, so that tells you that your internal standard is, is proper. That means that the electronic connections are working. That there's a solid connection between electrode and meter. Now the other calibration I was referring to is using a calibration check. This is a, an accessory part that's not, uh, that doesn't come, that does not come with the AADF. It's a part that's sold separately. What it does is it symbolizes actual measurement. Customer, I like to have customers use this method if they're questioning their radome, um, if they think that the radome is uh, faulty or if they think the instrument itself is faulty. When you actually take a measurement on this block, you're supposed to take the me you, you measure the value that's on the block. If the value is still the same, that means that the meter itself is is working, and that means that your your radome is is the uh, item in question. This particular uh, calibration check, I don't know if you can see it here, but it says 18 plus or minus one is the value that was calibrated here at the factory. Again, you would take a measurement just like you would on a radome by turning on the power, re-zeroing the adjust knob, and gently resting that and pushing it down on the electrode. I don't know if you can see that. The meter dial should move close to 18. And once it does that, then you can verify that that verifies that your instrument is working properly. And that is utilizing the RF field and the electrode. It's actually taking a signal and, and, and taking it to the meter itself. So you've proven that the, um, the direct connection to the resistor is working internally. And now you've proven that the RF product measurement is working fine. Maintenance. Performing maintenance on the AADF is imperative along with anything else that you purchase. You gotta make sure it's properly cleaned. Uh, make sure that the buttons are properly cleaned and they are still rounded. Make sure that they're not flat. If you do open up the instrument in any fashion to check the batteries, to replace the batteries, um, that's gonna avoid any warranty that we have, that's gonna avoid the warranty that we've given to you for, for the AADF. There's so if you feel like the instrument is, is not working properly or if it's not passing your internal standard test or if your meter's bouncing left and right or you feel like you have a low battery issue, please please send it into the service and we'll gladly take care of it for you.